In this question, we are given a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. We are told that one of the angles B, A, D is 75 degrees. We are also told the angle A, B, C is 40 degrees. And lastly, we are told the angle A, D, C is 35 degrees. We are asked to find the angle X, which is the angle B, C, D. To work this out, first of all, we remember that the sum of angles inside of a quadrilateral is always 360 degrees. In this particular quadrilateral, we were already given the three angles. To work this angle, BCD, the reflex one, we're going to take 360 minus the sum total of angles inside this quadrilateral. So we do have 360 minus 75 plus 40 plus 35 degrees. That is going to give us 360 minus 150 degrees, and that is 210 degrees. Next, we need to find that obtuse angle B, C, D, which is our X. We know that the sum of angles at a point is always 360 degrees. At the point C, we already have 210 degrees. And so to find X, we're going to take 360 degrees, subtract 210 degrees. And that gives us 150 degrees. That's the final answer to our question. In this question, we're given a square A, B, C, D. We're also given a point inside the square M such that AB is 9 units and MB is 6 units. We are told that the angle AMB is 90 degrees and we are asked to find the length MC. To work this out, we're going to start by looking for the length of the square. We remember that in any square, each angle is 90 degrees and each side is equal. We're given that angle AMB is 90 degrees, so in triangle AMB, we're going to use the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of AB. That is going to be 9 squared plus 6 squared and find the square root of everything. We're going to find it by adding the squares of 9 and 6 and finding their square root. 9 squared is 81 while 6 squared is 36 so we add them together to find the square root of 117. Let's call angle MAB to be theta degrees and let us call angle ABM to be alpha degrees. It follows that since one of the angles in triangle ABM is 90 degrees, then it follows that theta plus alpha has to be 90 degrees. Now, we all know that angle ABC is 90 degrees we were already given, and so MBC must be 90 degrees minus alpha. We already knew that alpha and theta add up to 90 degrees, and so MBC should be theta degrees. Let us consider triangle BMC, which is a scalene. To get one of the sides, in this case X, in this case the length MC, we're going to employ the cosine rule. So x squared is going to be equal to 6 squared plus the root of 117 squared minus 2 times 6 times the root of 117 cos theta. 6 squared is 36. The root of 117 squared is 117. And 2 times 6 is 12 times the root of 117 cos theta. Now from triangle ABM, it's possible to find what cos theta is. It was right angled, and so we're going to um, employ Sokatoa so that cos theta is going to be 9 over the hypotenuse root 117. We're going to substitute this into the expression above. So that we do have now x squared is equal to 36 plus 117 minus 12 times root 117 times cos theta, 
which we have found above to be 9 over root 117. Root 117 cancel out in the numerator and the denominator so that we are now only left with 36 plus 117 minus 12 times 9. And so x squared is 153 minus 108 and that gives us 45. To find x, we find the square root of both sides so that x is equal to the square root of 45. And when that is simplified out, x is 3 root 5. And that is how to find the length of MC, which we were told is x. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.